In the previous video, we learned about dynamic routes in SvelteKit. In this video, let's learn about nested dynamic routes. When building complex applications, it is quite common that you come across the need to have more than one dynamic route segment. For example, let's consider this scenario number five. As a user, if I navigate to slash products slash one, I should see the details for product one. However, if I navigate to slash products slash one slash reviews slash one, I should see the first review written about the product. Let's go back to VS Code and see how to achieve this. In the previous video, we've already implemented the product ID dynamic route. So we can navigate to slash products slash one and get the details about the corresponding product. Now, what we need is slash products slash one slash reviews slash one. If you've understood file-based routing so far, this should seem pretty straightforward. Whenever we have multiple path segments, nested folder structure is the answer. We want reviews to be nested inside the product ID. So we begin by creating a folder within the product ID folder. The folder name is reviews. This takes us to slash products slash product ID slash reviews. But we also need a dynamic review ID. So within this reviews folder, create a new folder. The folder name is within square brackets, review ID. Within the folder, create a new page.svelte file. Within this file, let's display both the product ID and the review ID. And this should be easy if you watched the previous video. We add a script block and import page from the stores module. We then extract product ID and review ID from the page parameters. In the HTML, we're going to type review followed by review ID for product followed by product ID. If we now save the file and go back to the browser, navigate to slash products slash one slash reviews slash one, we see the expected text in the browser. Navigate to product ID 100 and review ID 5 and the UI reflects the corresponding IDs. Our scenario number 5 has been successfully implemented. So the takeaway from this video is that it is possible to create nested dynamic routes. You do that by having dynamic segments in the folder name. Speaking of multiple dynamic path segments, SvelteKit does offer another feature to handle the same. Let's see what that is in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.